Oh, right. Playing against the Bulls. Um, I'm a little scared. A little bit scared. Press X to continue. I got a million ways to get it. Choose one. Hey, bring it back. Bring it back. Get double, get money, and make a stack. On to the next one. On to the next one. On to the next one. I'm getting really tired of this song. On to the next one. On to the next one. Everybody, breathe. Nope. Done. Done with we are that live from the Palace of Auburn Hills for this Eastern Conference battle featuring the Pistons here in Detroit. And presented to you by State Farm. We'll take a quick look here at our opening lineups. And guys, checking out Joaquin Noah here. What can we expect from him? I think the best quality for Noah is the energy that he brings to the game, Kevin. He's got long arms. He can rebound. He can handle the ball. He can make plays. But really, got them long arms. Just the impact he's going to get them all up in there. And his energy. Like Slenderman. Knock the ball down. So I love that about him. And he's a real demon on the backboard. An outstanding offensive rebounder. He's a good passer, too. If he sees an open teammate, he won't hesitate to move the rock. And he's accurate with his passes, too. This game marks the end of a road trip for Chicago. They're looking to snag one here before heading back home. They've already picked up eight wins in their first nine games. A lot of confidence with these guys right now. You know, it's been a dream start to the season for them, exactly the way you want to kick things off. It looks to me like they've got pieces in all the right places. Oh. It's a hard pace to maintain all the way through the season. If he would have just held on to it. To yeah, Clark, I don't think they could be feeling any better about their chances this year, given the way things have gone so oh, far. Oh, I got the rebound. The doors off. I people. got the rebound. Obviously, they were ready to go to hit the court this season. For another year in a row, the Bulls were the cream of the crop in the East. Their mark of 38 and 10, the best of any team against their own conference. Six to shoot. He feeds it tonight. Three pointer. Oh, oh nailed it. Um, first bucket of the night, a three pointer for the Pistons. And they get on the board first. It feels a little. It feels a little bit laggy. Um, I think you get used to it. I think it's just the way that they move. Kind of like I don't know if you've ever played like Killzone Three. When you first play that game, it feels like you weighed 900 freaking pounds. But you get used to it. last year and Gibson were so good as a tandem coming off the bench. That length and size and athleticism was a major factor for that. Oh no! Stripped the right for me. Now here's Rose, the fast break opportunity. Dang. Here's Hamilton. Shot is no good. Yeah, good defense though. Oh. Knight against Hamilton. Knight kicks to Monroe. Kicks to Stucky. Monroe with a screen on Rose. Here's Stucky, and the basket to oh, yeah. And with the defense playing that well, the double clutch was the only way he was going to get that ball off. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Rose kicks to Boozer. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. You know, Carlos Boozer came into last season having lost 20 pounds. And normally he's been one of the real bangers at the power forward spot. But with the condensed season, he huh. felt that playing a little lighter would help him stay I noticed that, that I, I thought it felt slow in, in 2K12 as well, and I actually played 2K12 on the, the PC. This Andrew is for the Boozer, PS3. You're talking about him, Steve, um, staying healthy. That I don't, I don't feel like it anymore, the really. You know, like, there's still those really weird like situations where Clark, like, you'll be running years. around yeah, and, and then you'll be just you know, you think of big guys like, him as like the ones out the a foot and a half, two feet away from a player. The key for him, then but then the game thinks you're touching him. So you start, like, rolling up against him. You can't move around anymore, even though you were going trying to run to the basket. That kind of shit gets annoying, but... Stucky outside. I, I don't notice really like input lag. It does feel like my character. Over Hamilton. Slow. Here's the beast. Oh, he's oh, rebound with the, on the offensive glass to make that one work. Well, you're not going to get a more high quality look than that. Terrific offensive rebound yeah, there. That shit pisses me off sometimes. Back to Alley oops. 
have been just a pain in my ass. And that's oh, and I got the foul too. That's an old-fashioned finish there, guys. Going to the finger roll to get. Anytime anybody does an alley oop against me. Detroit uh, is a team that turned some heads early last year. Can't block it. Came out of the gate strong and you can't jump fast seemed enough. to grow as a unit, particularly in their play at home. The free throw drops for Rose. Clark, you mentioned the Pistons at home. They carved out that defensive identity for Coach Lawrence Frank once again. And it helped them put up the 18 and 15 mark they did here last season. And I like what they did, Kevin. Oh, fucking this has always been a franchise that prided Jeez. itself on. Knock you over, Boozer. Get out my fucking boys. way. <laughs> Even uh, the last few years with, with Ben Wallace. Uh, so this is uh, a team that's shaping up identity wise. And the fans like it. We'll see if they're able to translate all that defense into a playoff appearance this year. Man, gross. Yes, it's a go. His offensive game is so refined, guys. Extremely well developed in just about every aspect. Hamilton against Ducky. Here's the beast. The leader. Put it back. Put it back. Okay, give it back. Shot opportunity. And I'll miss it again. Rebound by the Bulls. <laughs> Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. And offensively, everything just seemed to come so easily to them in that game. Shit. Yeah, it was really coming out, did, too. Steve. I mean, it looked effortless for them at that end of the floor. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Yeah, the fans not agreeing with the call there. Well, that's one I haven't played anything but my player. Fans, guys. I'm no, afraid of playing online. Not. <laughs> Averaging 18 points a game. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He didn't get to that one or quite my in time, career, Kevin. As it is Those now. can be tough to gauge sometimes. Chicago with the ball. They trail by one. And this is their first time matched up with the Pistons this year. Yeah, they rolled through this season series against this club last year, unbeaten on their way to the playoffs. Dang with the bucket. The Pistons have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Well, watching that game, Kevin, you couldn't help but think it was going to be their night as well as everybody on the team was shooting the ball. No question about it, Steve. I mean, you're not going to lose too many games. Oh, where you have no, I wanted to hit me. <laughs> getting in like they were. And Steve Ball, they were on their way to those playoffs. The opposite was the case on the other side. The one-sided nature of their games wasn't a surprise, was it, Clark? Not at all, Kevin. They were two totally different teams in a number Yeah, I didn't of even worry about I never really worry about online sports things. This season. I hope so, yeah. I buy them for one specific kind of thing usually. Like football, I buy it for the novelty of it just being football stuck because I love football. Oh, he Damn touched it. it while it was in the cylinder. That's offensive basket <laughs> interference. The NBA, I buy it for my career. MLB The Show, I buy it for the road to the show. Like, usually I only buy it for one thing, and I don't even bother with online. I the pass to McGinn. Guarded by Heinrich. Let's it fly. No good from McGetty. The defense got away with one there. I mean, usually I it will hurt you if you give him that kind of shot. Whoa. So they take the lead. All right, with that floater. Guys back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. Yeah, this could be a, a back and forth game all the way, guys, the way it's being played. This is fun to watch. Here's the Beast, averaging nine points per contest. Oh, man. Can't get it to go. And the defense did just enough to throw him off that shot. Dribbled off his foot. Take it to the home. Here's Take it home. <laughs> Look at that athletic play. Incredible. Man, oh man, finishing the play. <laughs> yeah, he put some next Other on window right. lookers. And the bench going wild, guys. They love it. What an amazing dunk. <laughs> and the highlight real replay. Brought to you by Sprite. Good stuff. Everybody's a ball hog. That's the problem. Takes it from 10. Everybody would be a ball Green hog. For two points. I would be. And the Bulls lead by Especially one. if I played someone like This is an D interesting matchup. Neither team has been able like, to get the ball. Give me the ball. shot. I'll tell you what, it's been it enjoyable to watch this one. I mean, they haven't given an inch to each other, and neither side is backing down in this one. So Putting it up, man. Play, still a close game. I'm LeBron. I can make 2K everything. Sports Magazine. The latest issue is now available. The Beast with Tom Billing emerging as a star talent in the NBA.
Welcome back, folks. We have a close game here at the start of the second quarter of play. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? And the key has been the second chance points. You look at this team, the, the hustle that they play. With, oh, so sick. And I missed the shot. Game. Well, it's showing up on the scoreboard. I mean, you get second chance points like that. It can add to your totals and also demoralize your opponent. The Beast, he's in at the four spot. Rodney Stuckey and Tayshawn Prince, the two wings. Craig Monroe is out there with Bynum. That's the five and the four for the Pistons. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brooks. Doris, Stuck, over to you. Stuck, Thanks, Stuck, Kevin. Stuck. The Beast in their last matchup against the Warriors. Had a uh, I didn't play well enough in the showcase to be a starter. I got starter after, rebound after rebound I think, as well. five or this six games, or probably seven games, actually, I think I started. For his team as they but I am... This is the 20th game. Thank you very much, Doris. I've been playing Not a lot. huge surprise for him, Clark, to come out with I such a mission-like attitude. It really isn't. I mean, it's part of his mental fabric, which he likes to play with. A lot of his focus is required to deliver a game wow. like he did. I should yeah, stop. Yeah, he likes cheering. those situations. He likes the pressure. He seems to thrive in those circumstances. And boy, he came up big. Here's Boozer. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time been a little too easy for them inside hasn't it yeah i think so steve i mean they've really dictated the action in the paint um, that's been their focus and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all Shots. the bucket eight points in the game for stucky it has been nip and tuck through the first half no kidding i mean neither team has been able to hold the lead for any length of time guys yeah. steve so close well such a seesaw fair back and forth I mean, this has been an unbelievable game to watch whistle blows if that's going to be a that's travel well now let's check out the rookies shooting the highest percentage over the last 10 games a very confident group of young men right now as you look at the beast a shooting percentage is so in the much been taking stupid shots. Here's Robinson, averaging eight points a game. <laughs> Robinson off a pick from Noah. Robinson dishes to Noah. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. It's always interesting to watch Joaquin Noah with that <laughs> unorthodox shooting for one play. Thanks, Coach. Who's it? Kicks to Robinson. Rose. There's the dish to Heinrich. Feeds to Boozer. Shot clock at five. Here's Robinson. And oh, the dunk by Boozer. And the Bulls lead by five. The Pistons have gone six of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. They Use set my the screen. Pick, passes it to Stuckey. Here's the Beast. He dishes it to Monroe. There and the go. layup is good. Monroe's got his second basket of the night. And that shot of Noah's, the result of his two-handed shooting motion. Yeah, we call that the globe rotation. It just spins sideways and Stop putting your hands gets up. his guide hand too much into the action of shooting the ball. And as much as shooting coaches out there might cringe, as Steve said, it does go in, so you can't fool with the results. He had no luck from the three-point line earlier, so maybe this one will give him some momentum. Knight kicks to Stuckey. Here's the beast. Why? Why would he do such a pass? Back to Stuckey. That was a horrible. Stolen by Robinson. Horrible pass. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. Rose has packed the ball. <laughs> yeah, very opportunistic defense there, leading to those points. That's exactly what they'll do to you, Steve. They will pounce on your mistakes. That was a pretty clear picture now of what Detroit is trying to what? accomplish, and that's build their identity around their young players, guys like Stuckey, Monroe, and Brandon Knight. Uh, high character, high quality people, and I think Detroit is definitely on the right track if they can continue to make the right personnel moves. 